Judge Brown uh, Jackson is an incredibly uh, prepared judge. She will make an outstanding jurist, and I'm pleased the president has put her name forward. You've got two um, strong senators, Senator Murkowski, Senator Collins, who both voted for her in the past, who have said they're looking forward to meeting with her. Uh, you have every Democrat in the Senate that has voted for her in the past. Um, so I think that I look at that as the major factor here, as opposed to what I would expect, that you're going to hear uh, negative comments from a number of Republicans that are misplaced. Judge Ketanji Brown is uh, somebody who you have called an experienced jurist, but you did not vote last year to put her on the Court of Appeals. Are you open to voting yes this time? Yeah, I'm going to take a, a very deep dive and, uh, and have the occasion to speak with her uh, about some of the concerns uh, when she was before the Senate to go onto the circuit court. Uh, look, her, her nomination and her confirmation uh, uh, would or will be um, historic. Uh, and, uh, and like anyone nominated by the president of the United States, she deserves a very careful look, a very deep dive, and I'll provide fresh eyes to that evaluation uh, and hope that I'll be able to support her in the final analysis. And I think uh, that this is an outstanding nominee, and I would hope uh, that uh, my friend, uh, Lindsey Graham, uh, will come around to supporting her as he did before. Given how... Um, the Republicans played the last three nominations. We shouldn't take anything for granted. It should be a swift, fair, clear process for her confirmation. And I look forward to participating in that confirmation process and seeing an historic addition to the United States Supreme Court. We must move forward and get this done. And it is historic. 115 Supreme Court justices. She is the first black woman uh, to be nominated to the court. Um, and that, as well as her incredible background, is mm -hmm. going to bring her in to the U.S. Supreme Court.